Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft Season 6 with me, False Symmetry. I'm a little bit peckish to start off today's episode, but no worries, because we are over here in our Patreon monument. Now, there was a video up yesterday about Patreon and how we are resetting the server soon. If you haven't checked that out and you are interested, definitely do so. And today's going to be basically trying to finish this place up. Not so much the interior, but the exterior. Because, well, I mean, this little stone contraption up here isn't really much to look at, is it? There's a sign that says False's Monument, but other than that, other than these guardians, there isn't really much going on. I would have a look at it, but I am going to get zapped if I look too closely. But I want to make this thing... Oh, that failed. Whoa, hello? If I work, can I... Can I... What was that so loud in my ear? What happened there, dude? So yeah, what I want to do is be able to see this thing from above the water. You can sort of see it. It glows a little bit, but there isn't much going on. And to do this, I think I want to start adding towers to it. I want to bring it up. I want to bring the height of the whole thing up. And what I'm going to do to start off with is I have a little bit of an idea in my head. I want one big sort of towery building in the middle. I want one on either of these little areas that point out. You guys know what I mean. I can't quite see them very well from up here because it is night time as well. Bad timing. And maybe one there and one there which is sort of on the back corners of the build as well. And then maybe it could look kind of cool. So I think my plan is right now is to swap the beacon back on over to the resistance beacon because that'll stop me getting too much damage taken, I think. Oh my, speaking of damage. Oh my goodness! Wait, 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 wait. Where's my way in again? Oh, I can't see it when you start zapping me. I can't see anything, in fact, when you start zapping me. I'm just gonna hide down here forever. <laughs> I might as well got myself into a pickle, guys. A pickle is definitely what I've got myself into. I'm, I'm, I'm digging in. I'm digging in. I'm leaving. <laughs> and that is why I've got sea lanterns. Oh, that, that, that's the side over there. No wonder I couldn't find my way back in. And before I was really interrupted by a whole bunch of guardians, we will start marking this thing out. So I'm going to head back up with the resistance beacon and start planning just with some prismarine blocks where the corners of each of these builds are going to go. And then we can start building them upwards into the sky. What even is that? That should be illegal. That's not cool. There are lit at least a hundred guardians there. Like, at least. My armor has been taking an absolute beating, but let's get in the air. And let me show you guys what we have so far. Not, not an awful lot. We have a small structure in the middle, lower down. These ones here are all pointing out. And uh, I haven't just made the four corners, I've made this sort of central one here as well. You can sort of see here, it's a little bit larger because I wanted something for that middle bit to connect to before it then goes into these. Because I might use these as buildings, I haven't decided yet. Uh, but what I have decided is that I'd like to make this look a little oriental. A little oriental. Um, perhaps having like flat roofs. Because the roofs is what, what I was having issues with with these towers. I was like, do we make them like, you know, skyscrapers? And I was like, nah. And although those do have flat roofs as well, uh, a lot of the times. So that is possible too. But they don't look very skyscrapery being made out of like a bright green material. So I thought, what else has flat roofs? Or sort of, actually no, I guess they don't have flat roofs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Layered rooms, but with like half slabs, like a very, very slight... I don't know. I I've got an idea in my head. Whether or not I'm going to be able to recreate on here is a different matter. But um, I think what I'm going to do now is start doing what I've done a little bit here, which is sort of just make them into boxes and have the boxes go up as high as I want them. Because obviously we've worked underwater, but I now need to like work on like figuring out what height I want this at. I'm just going to basically make a whole bunch of lines. I'm going to make sure that these two are the same. Those two are the same, and then these two can be whatever they want to be. So uh, I'm just going to basically work a whole bunch more of these boxes I've got. And once I come back to you guys, we're going to sort of fill in the little gaps and sort of, I guess, colour it in. This is the line work. We'll do the colouring in in a little bit. 
Well, the sun is finally coming up, which is good news for me because we've had creepers and goodness knows what spawning, but I now have a very, uh, oh, I didn't realize this was right here, where someone literally just dug up, I don't even know what was here, grass maybe? Oh, well, that's pretty ugly. Oh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. Well, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not moving my ocean monument anytime soon. So maybe, oh, you know what, in the live stream, I'll cover that back up with dirt or something, maybe. Or, or, I don't know, maybe you guys have suggestions. I, I don't really know. It, it sort of just, I didn't know it was there. My bad. Sorry, patrons, you live next to a rough neighborhood. There's even a spider that lives here. But, uh, but yeah, it does look kind of cool though. Uh, and I really, really like this idea and it really makes me want to do a non hammercraft video on how to work with boxes because I feel like I work with boxes quite often. I'll build boxes or rectangles or whatever you would call these shapes and then I sort of just fill them in and you can create so many different building styles literally from doing this. And I guess that's what I'm sort of trying to prove or show off today. So let me know what you think about that idea. Um, and I actually really want to move this beacon, I think, ASAP. So I'm going to think move it into... If there's a centre block here, if there's not, I'll move it just sort of nearer the front, maybe. I'm very, very rarely at the moment on the server when something exciting and new happens or something to try out. Um, so I'm heading right on over there right now. I need to take a break from this as well. I'm literally getting beaten up by all of these mobs here. But uh, I'll leave it like that for a little bit. And when I come back, um, we will obviously continue. But I need to try and get myself some free books. That sounds awesome. Here we are going to this, I think. Yeah, the light's on. Perfect. So, I box... Wait, I loot box for one block of diamond. Oh, it's one block of diamond? Oh, I forgot. It's so expensive. Oh, no. I thought it wasn't going to be that expensive. Oh, but I think you get ten... I think the idea is that you get ten three free books from iTrade. Which are like two diamonds each or something, right? Uh, right, where's an ender chest? I think there must be one in here, actually. Yeah, these are two diamonds each. So technically, if I do win, I get a pretty good deal. But if I don't win, I'm losing an awful lot of diamonds, aren't I? Uh, I should really stop this gambling thing when I don't actually agree with the gambling. But, you know, it's Minecraft. <laughs> it's, I'm not really losing anything, right, guys? <laughs> Just all my diamonds. <laughs> Just, just becoming the poorest hermit slowly on the server. Right, let's chuck this in here and hope that we win. Uh, it's a nightly box of. Did it? Whoa, 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 whoa! It's got enchanted books in it. Oh, but it's got random ones. Oh, but that's not bad. If they would have been two diamonds from there, I mean that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, I don't get to choose 10 books, but but I got like, how many books are in one of these? I, can't, I don't remember the number. Oh my goodness. Well, I, I guess I'm dropping this back off at my base first, and then we'll get back to work. That was well worth it. Oh, perfect. GG. GG everybody. GG. <laughs> are you guys picking up what I'm putting down? Oh, look at this. I've got an idea. And when false has an idea, she gets on with that idea and wins. No, I don't really. But anyway, I have an idea, and that is to potentially get our diamonds back from that. Now, this is very, very sneaky of me, and I'm going to wonder if Impost is going to notice anytime soon. Uh, I'm sure he will, because it's going to be quite obvious. We're not going to, we're not going to make this, you know, we're not going to do this half-heartedly. We're going to go all out. And I think there's a really nice plot right about here. That isn't being utilised by anyone, right? So, we've just picked up our eye loot chest. Here it is, full of lovely books. And um, I picked up all of these things here, which I'm just going to select out and get into my inventory right here. And my plan is... Actually, there is one thing I forgot, which is some birch stairs. To sell some of these that I don't want, like being of half pods. Well, I need it. No, will someone else possibly... Not likely, but knockback, do I need that? Not really, fire aspect, not really. Um, thorns, maybe I don't need that too much. I don't know, basically my plan is to sell at least nine of those to get my nine diamonds back. Then technically, 
I've got that box for free, right? I mean, the box won't be full anymore, but I will have made my diamonds back. So that's the plan. And of course, with that plan, we are going to be building ourselves a little tiny stool. So that's what I'm going to do here real quick. And we're going to hope that the other hermits notice and come here with the cheaper books to see if I have what they want first. Because I'm going to be selling this for cheap as well, right? These are going to be one diamond books, not two diamonds like I trade, right? This is good. We're going all out, guys. We're going all out with the cheap books here, okay? The hermits are never going to know such a deal. <laughs> so let me finish building up my little... um my little uh, market stall here and we'll see what the other hermits think hopefully if they ever come back over here which hopefully they will one live stream and one day later and in my live stream straight after i finish building this thing impulse logs on goes over to it and is like false <laughs> how could you so he instantly noticed it already and has he bought them though no he hasn't okay I put uh, cheap books, one diamond each. There we go, beautiful. I've even added one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books, which of course would give me the nine diamonds back that I spent. And we've got this little guy over here just saying, you know, get your books over there, just because it wasn't so obvious. So I thought, you know, have this guy pointing at, at me, looking wonderful, beautiful, um, <laughs> over here so that people know where to go. Um, and that's perfect, right? I... I think so. <laughs> I think so. Anyway, so that is left there, and hopefully we get at least one sale. That would be nice. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, and I was thinking maybe if I got all nine diamonds from that, we could spend them back at Impulses. But now that Impulse has seen it and reacted how he did, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I was just giving him healthy competition, guys. Healthy competition. No, no, nothing. There was nothing mean going on there at all. So. Uh, the way he reacted, nah, you know what? Not gonna give him those diamonds back and try and get them all books to then sell again and do all that kind of stuff. We're just gonna go straight up and uh, just get our diamonds back. That'd be wonderful. Okay, I'm having a few issues here. <laughs> Look at this world loading. I don't quite know where the ocean monument is, but I think I'm gonna hit it in a moment. Am I still going the right way? I don't know anymore, but Impulse is technically still getting me back for the situation that I've just done there. Even while he's AFK! <laughs> and a zebra is probably not helping either. But anyway, we found we found our way back. We found our way back. And um, yeah, we just need to get started on building this thing up. So I think for now, what I'm going to do is do the colouring in, like I mentioned, the filling in the walls. And what I'm going to do is sort of make some stripes with perhaps this block. I forget what these blocks are called. But yeah, I'm going to make some stripes and then fill it in with some stairs perhaps, some slabs perhaps, maybe even some glass. I'm thinking light blue or cyan, perhaps. Uh, I'm just going to do a whole bunch of ra a range of things that you're going to probably then see because I'm going to time lapse it. But um, yeah, go, let's go ahead, guys. Get straight on with this and let's roll that time lapse. That didn't go well. Oh no. <laughs> oh, <rip. laughs> oh no. Oh that's a problem. That's a, that's a bit of a that's a bit of a problem, but everyone everyone is in the game. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Uh do I just try? I mean my bed's set here. I could just try and swim, right? I must be able to reach it. Problem is they haven't despawned, or have they? Maybe me dying <gasps> they spawned. They're all despawned, I think. Okay, my stuff should be over here somewhere. Don't zap me! Don't you dare! Don't you even dare! I want my helmet! So I can breathe. Be nice. Fireworks, lovely. I need more armor before I get zapped again. Uh, that'd be nice. Let's put that on. Oh, okay. At least that wasn't too, too difficult to get back. I was just mid-time lapse, too. Oh, sorry, guys. Right, back to the time lapse. Let's hope I don't die again. That's because I turned the regen beacon off and... Now I don't have region anymore, that's the problem. And I don't have a chest plate either, which 
I don't even have my ender chest either, so that's a big problem as well. Because <laughs> I don't think these wings are doing much for protection. Oh, where are my boots? There, perfect. Oh man, am I sick of being punched like constantly. It's literally like someone just standing there while you're building just going, fuck, just every, every five seconds <laughs> until you can sort of hide from them for a second. And then you take a breather, you know, because I didn't want to drink a whole bunch of water breathing potions. Uh, with this on, it actually wasn't too bad, but man, everything took a beating. But I did swipe over to a chest plate and I mean, that took a beating, look at that, blimey. Um, and I kept having to like fly away and having them despawn. I can't tell if you could see that in the time lapse or not. But anyway, uh, a lot of the underwater stuff is done, which is perfect. So that's the stuff I'm fed up of. <laughs> I want to be above water right now because uh, the underwater stuff looks cool. I like it. I do want to add some lighting to it because you can't see it too, too well. But you can sort of see, you know, the designs I've done. I will, with my camera account, just check that I haven't missed anything. Like here, for example, I missed this. That is the problem with being hit by these guys, is that I just kept missing things. Because I would like, I think actually, actually that could, been, could have been when I died, actually. I didn't finish this one off. This is where I died. <laughs> so, uh, I need to be careful again here. Oh, that's because that's they all just camp out in that space. There, there we go. Okay, that bit's done. Right, anyway. So uh, yeah, so pretty much uh, that one and this one are the same, that one and that one are the same. Those two are a bit bigger than these two. But other than that, um, it was pretty good. I would probably add a little bit more detail to them. In fact, I was looking at this area down here and I was thinking how cool would it be if I did something like this? I don't know if this is gonna work. No, that's in the wrong place, that one. And I'm getting beaten up again. No! Stop it, just haven't got my regen potions on me. You can't beat me up, okay? One moment. I did think bring invisibility as well, but I don't know if that's gonna work, so I'm not even gonna bother with that. <laughs> but, um, I wish I had, like, some steak. That would've been a very good idea. Anyway, uh, so I think if I did something like this, could be kinda cool. And then obviously you remove that and move that like that. Sort of, because I, I miss having the archways. The archways that I got rid of along here, uh, along the back, I miss those. And um, I thought maybe it'd be kinda cool to have them again. Uh, I'm not going to be able to have... Uh, okay, that's fine. We can deal with that. Let's uh, do two more this side with the help of the dolphin, which isn't actually that helpful because placing blocks when you're speeding along is, is actually super complicated and difficult to slow down. Okay, time to show you guys the whole plan of how to make these look hopefully pretty cool. Firstly, needs a floor. And I've decided that floors are going to be dark prismarine because that's the, the one thing I haven't used at all down below because it's just very rare that it's used it's used for that pattern on the front there but other than that I don't think it's used anywhere and I really want to keep these very very open I want them to feel very like yeah open and just like kind of cool you know um so I think I'm gonna go with something like that I do also want to be able to reach this and I'm thinking currently, we could have gone diagonal, but I think that's going to ruin the geometric effect. So we might go from there to there, and then this way. So sort of a right angle there, perhaps. I'm going to keep that open for now. But let's also add some sort of like pillars, like this. So I've got like a bit of a pagoda style thing. I guess that's what I was going for. Pagoda, that's what I was meant to say, you know, when I said Japan. Uh, pan or something earlier <laughs> I don't know anyway um so like that and then here comes the sort of flat roof idea that I have so let's get on this if I can land and we'll start with the flat roof so I tried this out in a creative world and it looked kind of cool so I think we're going to continue with it and we're going to make it non-spawnable as well so the insides of these things are going to be lit up so of course nothing will spawn and then the outside like the roof and stuff will be half slapped so you, they won't be able to spawn there either so hopefully this will be a spawn free thing that you can land on if you're flying over and hopefully it'll work really well so i'm gonna have like a double layered roof here where there's a gap 
and I think, like, geometrically, that's going to look really sweet. And then, I might add a little bit of something on top, bring in a little bit, perhaps, more of the, uh, a little, a little poke of the, um, the dark prismarine again. Let's see where we can put this. I think if I do, like, a one, two, three sort of situation here, and then just chuck another roof on top. Oh my goodness. Let's just have a quick look at what that looks like. <laughs> I fell off. Um, and you can't see it from here, but... I like that. I think that's kind of adorable and it really works, I think. I don't know. Let's let's try this for this one, that one, and maybe we'll do those two the same as well and then we'll work on the two larger structures because they're the they're the confusing ones. <laughs> right. I'm attempting to make a small bridge here because I think like I said for the pathways for those, it could work really nicely. Problem is this curved bridge works well here. But I can't do a curved bridge on a right angle, so I don't know what on earth I'm going to do there. That's going to be a bit of an issue, I think. So I need to work out how I'm going to do that. I need to work out how to finish this as well. Uh, I think we're going to go... Is it two? Three, two, and then three again? Yeah, I think so. Cool. So let's do that. And then um, it should connect to here. Not quite, not quite as well as I'd hoped. It doesn't line up exactly where I wanted it to, but... We can we can make that work. Stop zapping me, dude. I'm not even I'm not even in the water anymore, okay? You can you can chill out, it's fine. Or not. Don't chill don't chill out then. Find find my me. Find my me. Anyway, we are so so close to being finished here. I think what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and finish it. Cause I'm just like super focused right now. And I'm just fed up of getting zapped by these guys. So I just wanna get this done. <laughs> And then uh, show you guys the unveiling of my new Patreon monument. It's going to be so sweet. I'm so excited. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you think down below. Right. Moment of truth, guys. I've worked on this for way, way, way longer than I wanted to. <laughs> it's been like a couple of hours. <laughs> and um, I think I've done most of it. There are a couple areas that I really, really want to swap out to be dark prismarine. But I've run out of it. So, um... That's a bit of a problem. And I want to add some leaves to it, which is why I've got them in my inventory. And I thought I'd show you during night time. Because it glows! Look at this. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I've saved some space up here for some leaves. And I think that these are going to be the best ones. These are the jungle leaves, of course. I want them there, and I know that I want them up here somewhere. But I haven't actually... You know what, actually, I don't think I've finished this yet. Uh, I need to do something like... Maybe... Oh, I was going to do that and then a pillar in the middle, but that's not going to work. That'll have to do for now, I guess. I don't really know. Maybe I'll do something like this, in fact. That could be kind of cool, maybe. Uh, but yeah, I'm just basically just figuring out as I go up. I'm building it up and just building it smaller every time I sort of move upwards. So uh, hopefully this looks pretty good. I'm going to just quickly finish this little bit up and then I'll, I'll show you at daytime because you, you're probably going to see more of the details that way. But where do I want these leaves? Something like here or something. Yeah, like that. Daytime is upon us. Let's get one last look at this wonderful thing that hopefully is actually wonderful. I don't know. It looks like some strange creature or some alien planet. But I love it. I kind of... I kind of really like it. It's very, very different. It's sort of pagoda. It's sort of a little bit sort of geometric. It's it's weird. But I don't hate it. And I kind of like the idea of building things up like this in the rectangular format. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down below. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I need to wrap it up now because I need to actually upload it like ASAP. <laughs> so it's up in time. But guys, thank you so much for watching. The Patreon video is up as well. If you're interested in becoming a Patreon, that would be awesome uh, if you check that out. The video, I'm sure, is linked somewhere or you can go find it on my channel page. But guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. See ya! When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.